All right, guys, I am here at my desk. Um, I couldn't wait anymore to do a review on this thing and initial impressions. This is the Spyderco Micro Jimbo, the cut down, shrunk down version of the Yo Jimbo 2 designed by uh, Michael Janich, which I am a big fan of. Um, and before I give my opinion a little bit about myself, I like to sharpen knives, use knives. I'm a, more of a practical user. Um, I don't have a lot of knives that I do not have a use for. I am not smart this is for my use case so i cannot speak for everybody but uh, coming from someone where one of my favorite if not my favorite everyday carry is my k390 delica in a warning worn clip version um thought this would be a good comparison between the two so there is the delica this is the micro jimbo a little shorter this is a slightly less than two and a half inch blade uh very finicky with a compression lock on there and this is obviously a back lock, so uh, mine's kind of tight because they do not like mine really loose and then have a lot of blade play, so mine's been tightened down. And I, I've had it for a while, it just really doesn't break it because I don't flip and flop them. Um, as far as tallness, the Delica has a slight um, taller blade or shape. As far as blade stock, they are about the same behind the edge, but you notice with blade stock, the uh, Micro Jimbo is a little thicker. Both full flat grinds. Um, cutting performance, honestly, other than the smaller blade, they feel the same. Um, obviously, this is made out of K390 steel, but a sturdy V, honestly, it's not a problem. Other than collectors and people who like to dress their stuff up, I'm fine with that sturdy V. It works just fine. It dropped back yesterday very well after I used it up at work. And then just as another comparison, this is the Ronin 2. The Ronin 2 is about the same length as the Yojimbo, but uh, the blade is a little taller. And the handle's a little shorter on the Ronin. But you notice the similarities, obviously, because they're both by Michael Janich. Um, things I like about this guy is obviously the size. There's no choil here, but I have not had an issue with my hand. Feeling like it's going to be slipping off the handle here. You get a full four-finger grip. And it's very secure. G10 feels good, just like their normal G10 stuff. Uh, it's a nice flat grind slicer. I have... I had a great time sharpening this guy. I sharpened it to about 18 degrees per side to about a thousand grit. Took a wicked edge. Obviously, my skills may be getting a little better, so it's definitely sharper than any other S30 that I've sharpened in recent memory, but that probably comes with time. Um, they do have a shorter wire clip here, which I don't mind. This thing carries very deep. I mean, it goes all the way to here, so you're going to just see a black nub if you have it in your pocket. And the compression lock works pretty well, and it's very finicky and flicky. Um, overall, I really like this knife. Um, I was cutting some cardboard with it and it was effortless, really. It, uh, there's no hot spots on this versus my Delica. I do get a bit of a hot spot where the, the spoon clip kind of hits my hand. So it'll, you know, by hot spot, I mean it where it's going to press against my hand and kind of fatigue after a while after you're cutting a lot. So, but this one, I, I didn't feel that just like with the, the Kunmu Chad, no issues whatsoever flicks out very nicely when I first got this it was very stiff um closing it up I did disassemble it while I sharpened it just to kind of clean and relube everything and I tightened it back up the construction it's got scooped out g10 and very solid liners now everything's been shrunk down a little bit including the compression lock here I'm thinking that's why it's got a it takes a little bit more strength to press this lock down because you have a lot less steel to bend um so it's a little bit harder to press and uh, also the clip it works well but if you have looser material because the the clip is so short it, it doesn't bend as much as some of the taller ones so you may have a little bit of a struggle getting this on the looser materials plus the, the texture of the g10 but otherwise it, it was super easy to center i didn't have to really try or play with it it just centered up uh perfectly the first time after i did it no blade play with how, how to tighten the pivots um, also with the cutout for the compression lock, you see how small it is. I have medium sized hands and it, it's starting to, it, 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 my fingertips sore from having to press this constantly cause I'm, I'm playing with it. So that does wear down. I mean, I can feel a little bit of pain right there. You can see it's kind of, kind of red there, but if you have any larger hands, you may have some issues accessing this comfortably. That being said, I mean, you can just press it with your thumb and it works pretty well. But the action's very good, very good detent on it. And it was a, a breeze to reassemble, breeze to sharpen. 
I honestly like this more than the Yojimbo 2. That's my use case. If you like larger knives and you don't like smaller ones, this may not be for you. But this makes a great box cutter, a great utility cutter. Notice how it just forms right here. Uh, you could use it for defense. I'm not an expert at that, but I sure as heck wouldn't want to be sliced with something. You can put a lot of power behind this. You just don't have as much blade length. But this is pretty much legal on all of the U.S., I guess, uh, pending, your, or pending your local knife laws. But this is a winner. Um, I'm super excited to get this. I'll be interested to see if any they make any other versions of this. But um, yeah, the Micro Jimbo, super nice knife.